Three, two, one. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, reading your comments. Welcome to the FPV Mix, the third greatest live stream about specifically about FPV drones on the internet. But most importantly, how are you guys doing? Let's get some mic checks, audio checks coming through. Find out who is here in the chat. Now, what this stream is, it is for you. If you're into FPV drones, if you're into drones in general, if you just want somewhere to sit back, relax, well, this is the place for you. So grab yourself a cup of coffee, grab yourself a beer whatever you want to partake in because uh, this show for the next hour or so the lipo hour of power we're just going to be hanging out having some fun answering your questions looking at some drone news watching some videos just all in all hanging out having a good time now let's see who is in the chat let me know if you are here so we can see some familiar faces fitz flights are saying volume extremely low anyone else uh, maybe try turning it up it looks like it's okay on my end but uh, we could get some more data on that. That'd be good. Or data, as you uh, Americans would say. Lord Wolf is saying, what's up, you degenerates? RS7 driver saying, a good Mike, one of the legends himself. Uh, let's see. 611 saying, volume is perfect here. And Quad Dog, oh, what timing. Just turned on the YouTubes. And hi, Stu. And he has one of the coolest names that I think there is. Because Quad Dog, a palind qu uh, palindrome. You can read it backwards and forwards. Uh, that's the way kids like it. A bit of back and forth. <laughs> and we've got Alabama in here as well. Johnny DRC. It looks like it might be Father's Day over in the US. I'm just adjusting some of the cameras here. All that sort of stuff so we can have a good show. Not have to worry about it. And if this is your first time here on the show, let me tell you, it wouldn't be the FPV mix without some technical difficulties. Now we've got Doggo Cam in the, I think it's the bottom right hand corner for you guys, but I'm not too sure what side that is coming up. So we've got old chart show down there. And so we've got Kiz Bartlett, Jacob P, Zoran is here as well, and uh, let's see, gr Growing Survival, oh look now, Donnie shows up, so it looks like maybe we've got Donnie in the house as well, he's saying hi y'all, um, I wonder when is Donnie's stream on, I'll have to check that out as well, because the, the Daily Dose of Don, he's doing some amazing streams as well, doing a lot of work over on his Discord. And Lord Wolf FPV says, do you pick random FPV videos or do you have a place where people share videos? Now look, we didn't actually discuss this last time, but I'm going to flash this on the screen. <laughs> that sounds almost inappropriate as well. I've got to be careful what I say on here because we've got some very interesting audience members. But if you jump over here, let me press this right here. This is my Discord and we have this little option. I'm going to make an invite right now. So let me just copy this. I'm going to paste this in the chat for you guys as well. If you would like to put your videos, uh, you can put it in there. But uh, basically, share your vids here. This is where you can share all your FPV videos. We might play some of those. I like this one. Um, that's a pretty old school blockbuster sort of looking theme. Got some cool videos in there we might check out as well in a little bit. But if you'd like to play yours on the show, uh, put them in there. So, oh man, there's quite a few in here. Let me scroll down just a little bit. All right. So I guess this is where we're up to. Someone's chasing some dirt bikes and having some fun. Uh, going through some FPV gates. And we've got some people doing giveaways. Whole bunch of fun stuff in there. Jumping back to our face cam. We've got manual FPV saying, Stu, how are you doing? Uh, I am doing well. I was feeling a little bit. Took me a little bit to get started. But now I'm here talking to you guys. This is the best part of my working week. And I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you guys who is here. Because it does make a huge difference to my life. And I hope that I can give that back in some way to make your life a little bit better today as well. Just uh, to brighten it up. Just something positive. Something to enjoy. Because this show really is for you as well uh, as for me. Sitting here talking to you guys. I love it. And I hope you enjoy it uh, on some level as well. All right. Uh, Ryan Hall sends Stu, will there be a clip that tonight? Uh, I think so. I believe Kiz might have one lined up for us. We'll have to wait and see. He might let us know in the chat as well. Uh, we've got Chris Mel saying hello, hello. Uh, he's there, one of the people who's done some great flying as well. I don't know he has a UAV future strap, so welcome back, uh, Chris. It's great to see you in here. And Tosca is saying, hey, can't stay, but wanted to jump in and hit the like and tell you we miss you, man. Don't worry. I miss you guys as well. I truly do. Drones have changed my life, and I feel like it is the biggest pleasure I have ever had in terms of just giving something back to a community. Just It has been such a positive emotionally charged almost spiritual <laughs> journey that we've gone on with drones even though they just seem like these crazy little flying robots um they're definitely very very special things to me anyway a huge part of my life and i feel uh 
I feel absolutely privileged to be part of them. We've got 61 people watching, 39 likes. I hadn't even hit the like button myself, so if you do that, it does help me out with the YouTube gods, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Kiz is saying, yeah, all uploaded, set to private, waiting for the right moment. He loves a bit of that private action right there. And Andy Taylor saying, hey, buddy, here from Ontario, Canada. Yeah, where is everybody from? Today, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking at a little bit of the news. And uh, because I've been, dare I say, out of the loop for a little bit, I haven't made too many videos. I've got a bunch of stuff that is half filmed. I haven't filmed the studio half, but we've done out, gone out to the field and gone testing with Trevor and that sort of stuff. But as far as the news goes, well, man, I don't really know what is happening in the drone development uh, space. So we're going to be checking in on some of those things, perusing the internet, seeing what we can find. If you've got some news or something you'd like me to, uh, I guess, discover or talk about, please let me know in the comments as well. And what is everybody flying? Like, are we still flying? Have people stopped buying DJ goggles because they're so expensive nowadays is like a bigger bigger analog scene all that sort of stuff it'd be interesting to sort of discuss that let me know what you're flying anyway in the comments ash and well says you've always been my go-to for drone stuff always feel down to earth and realistic considering price stuff stuff doesn't have to be expensive to be good and i really like that i can afford this hobby now that has been one of my main priorities when it comes to flying fpv drones so look i get to fly anything like i have Except for some of the DJI stuff. I have all the gear. Uh, I could fly any craft that I want. But I still feel like I'm exactly the same as one of you guys. When I was on my teaching wage and I look at, gee, what can I buy? What What's the best value to money ratio that I can get where I can get into this hobby? Have a great time. And that's what I want to share. I didn't want to be like, hey, guys, you should always buy this most expensive brand name, blah, 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 $40 FPD motors with a signature, all that sort of stuff, because you don't need that to have a great time. Trevor, myself, Jono, as Jono says, he's all about the budget, and uh, yeah, I just, it's the same, what am I trying to say here? That donation has totally distracted me, but yeah, I, I still feel that if you want to get out and get flying, you don't need to break the bank, and you definitely do not need to have the best of the best gear. However, don't buy some junk gear as well, because if you buy too cheap, you'll end up having to buy twice. You know, got that scared me as well they're coming in from johnny drc i'm going to read these donations out one second just gonna have a drink of the soda water it's good to stay hydrated soda water let's see who we've got the first one was uh this one was from e drone with that little drone little chime sent her through a super chat. Thank you very much, you absolute legend. He sends Stu. Thanks for keeping all that positive attitude. We need more of that in our hobby. Uh, it is my pleasure, my friend. I hope to. I hope when you watch these, you feel like you're having a good time. You're out there in the field with us, flying around, because that's the message I want to convey. Like I said, I'm just like you guys. The only difference is I point a camera at it when I'm flying around with my friends. And I want you to feel like if you turned up, if you met us in the field, you could uh, break some of the drones, crash some of the things, test some of the things out, and just have a good time as well. Um, so thank you very much for that donation. We're going to give Charlie a treat as well as the man, the myth uh, himself, the legend, Johnny DRC. And I've got to give him a special shout out because he has been watching this show. And I don't just mean the live streams. If I checked my email, I'm sure I have maybe some emails from seven or so years ago. So, uh, not maybe seven, maybe five years ago. Very, very early when I started this, he was sending me some emails and those sorts of things. Multiple years anyway. Uh, so I want to say thank you very much, Johnny DRC. For always tuning in, just being a legend and, yeah, just being very supportive as well. So thank you very much. Uh, I feel very blessed to have such a kind community and just people who are so supportive like yourself so thank you honestly i'm truly saying this to you johnny drc thank you very much so let's give charlie his little snacks as well here you go that's from e-drone and this one's from let's have a look at what we're doing uh ed fpv music he's given me uh, a whole bunch of emojis right there and jeremy saying hey Stu, hope everything is good with you man oh uh, yeah i guess i'm uh trying to improve that's what i'm that's what i'm working on every day one day at a time one step after another just trying to make the best of uh when you're not feeling the best and i think that's something i want to share as well because i know mental health is a huge priority to me and i want other people to not feel so alone or ashamed or isolated or uh, removing some of the 
or is it the stigma around it and all those those sorts of things so if you are struggling there are some mental health links down below as well for me i've actually been dealing with depression for over a year now so it's something that totally knocked me for six i don't know if you have that expression uh, in other places of the world but yeah totally disrupted my life in not a very great way where things were going along really well and then all of a sudden out of the blue uh, along came the um, I guess the a bit of depression and it's been rough but I want to share that with you guys as well so other people out there they can feel better about their life because something that I am truly passionate about it's only through thanks to these drones if you're watching this these drones changed my life in such a positive way and I, the reason I made these videos is because I wanted other people to experience that and I've realized it's not the drones that I love It is the life-changing things that the drones the, the drones bring so getting out more exploring new places being passionate about something making new friends Just solving problems being creative There are so many avenues that drones are truly special about and that empowered and made my life better And I want to share that with other people as well So if I can improve somebody's life just through talking about mental health, telling them to go get some help, all that sort of stuff, putting some links down below, please, please, please uh, go and do that because it's something that, something that our society doesn't talk about enough. I feel like they, they sort of shun it to the side. If you had a broken leg, you go to the doctors. If you've got a broken head, you should go to the doctors as well. Anyway, let's have a look here. Ryan is saying, Stu, when you got doggo cam, your mic cuts out. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that. I was saying uh, <laughs> I'll have to, it's been a little while since we've, tuned this in so i might have to add a new input source we can do that in just a little bit as well uh and andy taylor is saying i love my attitude v5s uh with an akk module so there we go they are these goggles right here they're getting are they the green ones attitude v5 Whew, they're expensive this is from ebay let's find out how much they are at good old bangers i don't recommend people get these anymore for the price well that's the v6 Man, that's crazy. Do they even make the V5s? Hmm, let's have a look. FPV Faster, that's an Aussie shop. 450, here we go. Jumping over here, we're talking about these goggles right here. I wonder if UAV Futures is still down. Yep, <laughs> I've got to update that certificate. Anyway, these goggles right here is what we're talking about. The Attitude V5s, they, I don't even know if they make them anymore. Uh, looks like Bardwell's done a video on here. He's saying it's got the best image of budget uh, OLED. I think for me, the screen was a little bit too small. We did do a shootout, I believe it was between these, uh, the Omways and the Sky Zones. And I truly think that the Sky Zone O2Xs or the O2... Uh, C's, are they the C's? Are some of the best budget goggles that, when I say budget, best value goggles uh, that you can get. They were my choice. These ones, though, look, if you're enjoying them, you've slapped a module in here, which is one advantage that these ones do have over those other two that I mentioned. Uh, that's what it's all about. And something I want to stress as well, just because I preference one goggle over another doesn't mean that your piece is not right for you. You get to enjoy the gear that you have. If somebody tells you, uh, that, oh, you've got the wrong gear or anything like that, and you're having fun, you're enjoying it, you don't need that in your life. The main thing is that you're out there enjoying your hobby, so I hope that you're enjoying these. They're a great pair of goggles, and if you're having some fun, that is the main thing. We definitely need more fun in our lives. I don't know why I've got a screwdriver right here. I think I was, uh, this, this looks a bit sinister, actually. I was actually doing some PC repairs, taking not repairs, but changing some things out. All right, uh, Drew is saying, Drew, 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 Weird is saying, I, I got a deal on them. V5s are OLED, but discontinued. How much did you get them for? Jump back in here to the face cam. Uh, Bork is saying, everything got expensive in the last six months. $100 on every plus goggle. Is that true? Why is that? Why, is, why are things so expensive? Let's have a look here. Let's see. I know the Sky Zones went up because they had new... Uh, new sets of goggles uh let's see how much are sky zones i did notice these the other day and i couldn't believe the price of them um oh four how much are some oh four x's whoa my goodness check these out uh why is this the case why has gear gotten so expensive sky zone oh four x's oled seven hundred dollars are you kidding me Who's, who's paying? How much money did you guys pay for your goggles? This is insane. This is insanity. Is this is this like a graphics card market? Are they mining with these goggles? I think mean, everybody's buying them up. 
uh, putting him in some little mining rigs. Or what's what's the deal? Because I don't understand. Hmm. Let's have a look. Donnie's saying, hit that like button down there. Yes, please, let's do that. And Kiz Bartlett's saying, have you seen the international game of Whoop? Looks like a lot of fun. I'll have to check that out. If you could send me a link on uh, the uh, live, you know, where we talk about these sorts of things, or even in here. Um, let's see. Everything's been going up. That's from Quad, Quad Dork. And R7 Driver says, like it's supply and high demand. That semiconductor shortage is wreaking havoc. Is that... Like a what increased demand for FPV goggles? Has it been have more and more people been getting into lobby and buying analog? Is that's what's been going on? Um, the G, the O three O's were four hundred Canadian four years ago. Uh, I got the Sky Zone O three O's. This one's from Hill Scraper FPV. Great to see you here, my friend. Uh, for three hundred and twenty dollars, but that was Christmas in twenty twenty. All right, so let's say twelve months ago or seven months ago. Uh, we've got Rat saying, what up, humans? And Moonrunner saying, hi, Stu, when are you moving to Brisbane? Look, it's a big move to move 1,500 miles to go from the south of Australia up to the top state up there, moving up north, um, or 2,000 kilometers. Uh, I plan, I've got to stop saying, ah, uh, I plan to be there in about a month's time, but I don't know, because uh, I'll be staying at my mum's house, uh, by they go away for a little bit, we get to sort of do a bit of house sitting, why we shop around and try and sell this place and then buy a place up there. So I'm not too sure how, how long it's going to take, but we will be up there in a little bit, in about a month's time. I don't know if I'll be ready to for flying because we're going to be pretty, uh, pretty busy trying to get set up and finding somewhere to live, all that sort of stuff. But uh, it is the plan. So hopefully uh, within two months, that would be the dream or three months uh, where I'm up there. We've got the studio set up. We're back to filming. Uh, I still want to continue doing these live streams because I feel like that's something that I can do. But if you notice in the background, even though it's uh, we don't have the filming table there anymore, um, it's sort of all been packed up. We're in the mo in the process of getting everything ready for the for the big move. But I can still I've left the office here. Still going to be doing a bit of work here. I can still do the live streams. It's something that I want to commit to. And I said last week, look, let's try and make this a weekly thing. The FPV mix. Uh, so week in a week out, we can be in here chatting with you guys. All right. Uh, Apache is saying, what kind of dangers will I experience flying a 2.5 into a thundercloud? Well, there is a couple of things. A storm coming tonight, and I'm doing it no matter what. So you, if you are flying into a environment, here, here would be my first, and this is a true suggestion. You're about to go flying around, right, in a thunderstorm. Uh, there's going to be some lightning. You are going to lose video reception straight away because there's going to be so much water and interference in the air. So your drone's probably going to be lost. And number two, the thing that I would really be considering, you're outside. You've got some antennas strapped to your head. Do you really want to be doing that? You know, you're saying you're going to be doing that no matter what. If you were inside and you had a separate, like, some sort of wireless feed that from the antenna that then signaled something like a repeater back to your brain and you're sitting inside back to your goggles maybe but i would not be doing that my friend just purely don't go outside with an antenna strap two antennas strapped to your head it's just asking for a bad time do not do that um i'm sure some other people would say that as well look maybe if you were just just don't do it you're going to lose your drone anyway and look i know getting struck by lightning is pretty rare but it's not it's not worth it all right, uh, this one, this one's from Zeph saying shout out to Gabriel uh, IQ Zero. Oh, okay, so Gabe who killed it last night in the first DCL race twenty one, uh, helping Ra Raiden Racing in a big way to claim second place. Okay, that's cool. IQ Zero, I wonder how we went there. Gabe's been practicing uh, some some sim racing as well. Pretty down to earth kid. Very very nice guy. Um, Probably a bit weird for him though one time we did a DRL race or uh, some sort of sim race that came to the studio. Put some laps on the screen. Uh, we did a bit of an interview with him as well. But I can just imagine him saying to his mum, Hey mum, can you just go drop me off at this stranger's house who I met on the internet? Thanks, in his garage. And it was, I don't know if I'd be letting my kids do that. It was so uh, big shout out to his family. Very, very nice people as well. And yeah, so uh, he congratulations on your second place win uh, right there. We got Dodgy. He's saying good to see you uh, live stream from. Good to see you live stream from the plane. Don't know what he means uh, there. 
Um, we've got JFPV. He's asking what's going on with the family, the stream family we've got right here. I need to change some of these. That is too loud for me. Let me just change that. Thank you very much there, Donnie, for the donation. He's saying for the doggo. And thanks for using that Streamlabs links as well. It means that YouTube gets a lot. They actually don't get any of it cut. Don't tell them that. But uh, let's jump here. I think the mic does cut out when I jump over to doggo here. But you'll just have to... Maybe it's going to come back through here. Yeah, here we go. There you go, Charlie. That is from Donnie as well. Uh, big shout out to Donnie. I'm going to be on his live stream, uh, I think, on the 26th. Man, that's coming up soon. Today's the 21st for me right here. Um, let's see. RS7 driver saying, Wind and turbulence will be a quick end to your drone. Yeah, I wouldn't be so... That's about flying a drone into a thunderstorm. I don't think that's going to be the main thing that I'd be worried about. I seriously would be worried about getting hurt like something something going wrong you can always get another drone but if your lightning is going to be zapping you in the brain i don't think it ends up too well for many people all right let's see jeremy is saying imagine where i'm from that pair of goggles would cost me about two thousand dollars uh even something twice uh plus shipping or maybe more man where is where is those prices that's very very expensive and fishball fbv is saying look if you're going to be flying around in those uh over here in that thunderstorm you're better off just staying inside now what we're going to do i think it might be time let's change this up a little bit do you guys want to watch uh good old kizzes <laughs> oh clip that situation because i kiz i would love to watch your clip that it's where every week uh kiz would chop and change and heavily edit something let's do it i think we usually watch it at the end but i think this is going to be very special let's do it right now Let's get some thumbs up as well for Kiz. Uh, let me know where you're posting it. I'm going to put it full screen and we can watch that as well. Let's have a look. Live stream general. Kiz is ready to press play. I'm sure it's going to be coming through very, very soon. He's just getting us the link, he says, over in Discord. Um, and Hunter's saying, never cheap out on goggles. You buy one pair for life usually. That is a great... Oh, man, that thumbnail. Kiz, what am I meant to do with that? Oh, gosh. I just want to touch on that one point just before from Hunter. Yeah, I when I got my original Skyzone O2Xs, they're still my main goggle of choice. I still fly them around all the time. I like them. That's what I go and choose, unless you're flying digital, which, of course, uh, I've got my DJIs. Anyway, we're going to open this up. Check out this thumbnail. Golly, gosh. This, this... Oh, my face is a bit in the way. Let's see. Can I uh, change this up a little bit? There we go. Look at this thumbnail. I don't know. It's m me in a bunny suit. Clip that. Spread the word out here. Has it turned? Do I even want to watch this? Oh gosh, Scootafal is saying he's gonna he's gonna miss the stream. He's got to go to bed. He's got a long day tomorrow. Trust me, mate. Stick around for ten seconds or twenty seconds. We're gonna watch this and then uh, you, trust me, this will this will be something good. All right, let's have a look right here. Oh my gosh. Turning up the volume. Here we go. Screen share. Uh, let's press play. I'm nervous. That. I can't believe it. We are back here. First thing, mic check, mic check before we go through the comments. Let me know who has he who is here. But things have been a little bit rough for me. Uh, as you might have known in the stream, sometimes I struggle with my sausage scooter FPV <laughs> saying, how's it hanging? Thank you. It goes both ways. I'm glad I didn't shake it. Oh. <laughs> I got some big news, actually, that... Um, well, look, not even Trevor knows this. Random checked in all the time. I, you know, I still get every couple of weeks a message from Random coming in a small little box. <laughs> he says, Stu, it's the most fun you can have for the cheapest amount of price that's uh, that's legal. Anyways, okay, all right, let's, let's <laughs> settle down, boys, settle down. <laughs> We're going to actually show you something very, very cool. I actually think this is the best video I have ever seen. <laughs> I've forgotten how good and how much fun 69 oh. would be. So, <laughs> anyway, as Donnie would say, I apologize for my package coming all over the place. Oh. Let's do this again next week. Week in, week out, and there'll be a sausage the party for sure. Oh, just this last right, bit. What are the subtitles going to say here? 
We're gonna actually show you something very, very cool. I actually think this is the best video I have ever seen. <laughs> I've forgotten how good and how much fun 69 can be, so. Anyway, as Donnie would say, I apologize for my package coming all over the place. <laughs> and, you know what? Let's do this again. You filthy man. <laughs> all right, let's get some thumbs up for Kiz. Thank you very much for saying to like this video as well. And subscribe to his channel. That's what I should do as well. That is linked. Uh, that should be linked in the comments as well or over in the Discord. Thank you very much, Kiz, uh, for those inappropriate... Um, videos and i do apologize for that that mess that it has that it has made make sure you're using some some kleenex to clean that up all right game of drones is saying i fly strictly analog uh and i build way more than i fly all right uh who is still flying analog ah oh, gsn Stewart. i uh, love you thank you very much uh straight back at you brother and R7 drivers having a laugh, Hunter's laughing as well, Donnie's having a giggle, too good kids, too good. That's from uh, Ryan. Um, I'm not going to read out what Hunter has written there because kids will just uh, chop it and change it and make it inappropriate. But yeah, kids are saying no worries. Uh, thank you very much, kids. It always brightens up my week to see your videos in here and to see what you can do uh, to my to my streams. <laughs> I'm always a bit nervous uh, there. All right, so we've got a lot of people saying they're flying analog. So control FPV is analog. How many people here are digital? And out of that, I'd wonder how many people are DJI versus Fat Shark. I know Donnie likes the Fat Shark digital. But most people, I would guess, uh, are flying around DJI. Probably, you know, of the digital crew. But who is here? Who is still analog? Are you looking for new pairs of goggles? Do you want some innovations? What is the main difference? Do you think you can get better than what we currently have in an analog fpv goggle has it reached its technology life end like is this as good as it's going to get it's still perfectly usable perfectly serviceable it meets a lot of our needs is there a reason to upgrade to digital or are you happy for flying analog just like that for the rest of the days imagine though it's probably a little bit like going from a old school record analog player to something like the cd you know you get even though the record sounds a little bit better. That not, might not be the best analogy, but it still gets the job done. You can still listen to the music on either, either you know, platform that you're going to be using. Dodge is saying I'm analog and good for now. James is saying analog as well. Roth FPV analog. Hunter saying he might try Fat Shark. Chris Mell is analog. Donnie's flying around by both. Uh, Thomas is saying my wife is DJI. Well, congratulations. Um... You know, that's pretty cool. Families that are flying together, definitely that. I can't wait to go out and be flying with my wife and my kids. Uh, that's one problem, though. I like flying DJI, and I know I might be spoiled right here, and I'd say, yes, absolutely, you'd be correct in, in having that guess, and I feel very pri privileged to be able to do what I do, but it's like, uh, just, I like the confidence, I think, that I get with DJI. I just know that it's going to be working, and I trust the breakup more than I trust my analog uh, setup. So beautiful picture is nice, but I have pushed my DJI setup a lot further uh, than I have with my analog ones anyway. That's just, just me. I don't, you know, I'm just talking about my everyday park flying and reviewing. I'm not talking about racing or anything like that. All right. Uh, and Rat Hunter is saying Team Black Sheep for life. And Hunter would like to try Shark Bite. If it gets better, he might try it. Yeah, that's uh, something as well. I haven't tried Shark Bite. I would like to, but I don't think I'm on the best terms with, with Fat Shark. Anyway, I'm going to have to start doing some doing some leg work anyway before I get anything to review uh, from them. Anyway, and Randy said, I have both. He's not sold on the digital system, at least not the DJs anyway. He's sticking with his analog quads for now. Yep, yep. Uh, and Game of Drones. I think something that I'm is very important to make, if you're going to be getting into the digital scene, if you, let's just say you're going DJI, it is quite a problem, right? You get one pair of goggles, and who knows how long they're going to be making the CADEX systems for, or the air units for. What is um, what is CADEX's future plans? Like, you are really at the mercy of that one company. If they say, hey, we're not making this anymore, or oh, bad luck, you're, you're not going to be getting your gear anywhere else. You've got, a, you've got a bunch of useless gear. You might have two quads. You break your goggles. <clears throat> well, you don't have any other options but buying out and buying the fly more set or something like that so unless you've got a spare pair of goggles you're really at the mercy of you can't afford to break your gear as much if you're going digital not just the price but the options to get new gear are very very limited i think um 
It's not like analog where, all right, I broke my sky zones. Oh, well, I can still buy fat sharks. I can still buy some omways. I can still buy some cobras or sky zones or something else like that. <clears throat> it's, it's, and I, I broke my drone. Oh, I can go and get a Nazgul or some Romers. Who makes the Romer again? The Diatone Romer, whatever it is, you can go and buy that. I can build my own one, but you can't really do that with the DJI system as well, which I think is a big plus uh, for the analogs. All right. Uh, CJ Rogers says, I think I'm going to add an air unit to, uh, airs to, I don't know what, what he means, if you could elaborate a little bit more. CJ Rogers and Johnny DRC is saying, if I could afford $150 extra, each extra quad, he would like DJI too, uh, DJI as well. I don't think it's actually that expensive when you, I've got to readjust this focus right here. Oh, look at that. Ah. Oh. Face for radio right here. Unfortunately, it's a live stream though. <laughs> but I, I think by the time you factor in a camera, a VTX, a receiver, and some an antennas, um, you're not actually... Mm, the price difference isn't too much. Although it might have gone up since... How much is an air unit? Let's have a look at this. How much is a Cadex Vista? Cadex Vista. Oh, really? When did this happen? Man, am I... Has it been that long since I've checked in on these prices? Is this normal, boys? Look at this. This is 200 bucks. Like, that's Aussie, so let's say at least 150. Is that... Is that really what it's like nowadays? Yeah. And I have been gone for a little while. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. How much is a standard VTX? Man, 200 bucks for one of these. Whew, I was thinking 150 would be the top end. Ah. And Dodgy's saying, Stu, this is your own fault for checking yesterday. What do you mean that, Dodgy? <laughs> oh, yeah, Hunter's saying, analog slays if you're trying to save money. Absolutely. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with flying around. Oh, this is the V2. I wonder if that's any different. But um, there's nothing wrong with flying analog. I I fell in love with analog. I still love analog. Flying around the tiny whoops and everything like that. It's really when I go out to the, to the field and doing some just cruising around. I like that confidence. But if I'm flying around indoors, there is nothing wrong with analog. You can still have an absolute blast. All right. Put it this way. Who's ever gone, you've gone out to the pub with your mates, right? Here's, I love some, some good analogies. You've gone out to the pub with your mates, you're walking back from the pub and you get yourself a burger, a kebab, whatever it is that you want to eat after a big night out, some Maccas, whatever it is, you would mate, you're having a laugh, you're having a good time. That $5, $10 meal is going to be absolutely amazing with the company. You're having a great time. Man, this is the best kebab I've ever eaten. Verse going to some fine dining. Maybe you spend a hundred bucks plus on a steak or something at some fancy pants restaurant. I don't know what you rich people do, but uh, you might be like, man, that was a really good steak. However, the memories and the fun that you had with that cheap meal are probably going to be even more fondly remembered than the expensive meal, or, you know, it's going to be at least comparable. That's what it's like with DJI and Analog versus, uh, versus those two putting them together. You don't need the best gear to have the greatest time. That's what I'm trying to say, analogies aside. Anyway, um, let's see. I've got to, I've missed out a little bit on the chat. Um, RS7 driver saying the reg, regular Vista or DJ is about $160 US. People still talking about the chip shortage. That's the Nebula Nano as well, Stu. Okay. <clears throat> Let, thank you. Let's have a look here. Uh, Cadex Vista HD digital system. Oh, I understand. I understand. Yep, yep. Let's have a look. We've got... This one's here is 250 Aussie. It's even more expensive. Pro kit, whatever the pro kit entails. Whew. Anyway, expensive, expensive. Uh, the nanos are super expensive. Ezra's review saying you should do an updated Star Lord 288 review. Sky Stars has updated the components to make it even better. 288 was my first, 228 was my first quad. Uh, so I have a soft spot for it. Go away, Ben Good is trying to Let's try to give me some notifications. No, thank you. 
And CJ Rogers, his only way to use DJ's goggle air twos uh, is stick unit to the hood of a cam and jumper the power off the USB port. Wait, what? With air twos. Okay, I don't know. What's, what's air twos, uh, CJ? And Dodgy, um, how long have I been saying getting stupid expensive? Uh, I'm not too sure there. We've got Drunken Bullet in the house. It's been a while. He's saying there is a shortage on semiconductors and MOSFETs. Everything is going up. Man, we're in the wrong business. We should be making some of those. How much uh, How much to get one of those factories up and running? We'll supply the world. And first things first, we'll make sure that we look after the FPV community. And Donnie's saying he said he's becoming... He said parts are becoming hard to get so prices are rising all right demons fpv saying some race clubs haven't got their timing systems working with the digital stuff yet too that's a uh i thought they were meant to fix that like it ran on the same bands and everything i know it can be an absolute nightmare i'm not sold on dji for racing at all if you're getting into racing and you go into clubs and that sort of stuff i would say go analog each and every day it's a tried and true m I guess, uh, practice, and you don't need to go that far, I don't need the confidence of, um, if you're just flying around a little circuit, you should be fine, and finally, let's see, I should say, if you are in the Brisbane area, I'm gonna have to make a post, if you are in the sunny Queensland state, the Sunshine State, if you're up there, around Brizzy somewhere, you know, within two hours or so, I should make a little group because I would love to go up there, meet some people, go so, go for some flies, check out what other people are doing as well. Maybe we could do a little snapshot of uh, flying in Australia, make some videos and catch up with some people. That would be pretty cool as well. All right. Um, Game of Drones saying, Stu, your live streams are a staple on your channel. Never stop. Well, I did stop for a little bit and I kind of started because we were in lockdown and I couldn't really do anything. Like I used to say, 2020 was an extremely rough year. Uh, for me, and I'm sure that's something that attributed to a little bit of depression as well. But now here we are, halfway through uh, 2021, and I want to I wanna make a change. I'm going to keep working at it. So thank you for everybody who still is here. You have truly made a huge difference to my life. It feels so welcoming to come back to the stream. And I know I've been away, and I do apologize for that, but just to have... You know, all these legends who have supported me behind the channel, to have the mods here as well, to have the, the, to have the people who are here... I'm not going to say week in, week out, because that's not... I haven't been here week in, week out, but, you know, we started the stream and you're back, so... I don't know, I feel... I, I just want to say thank you. That's I know I'm getting sidetracked, but I just want to say thank you to those people who are here and have been so, so supportive. Thank you very much. Anyway... I digress. Should we have a little bit of the news, shall we? Let's have a look at that. I'm going to jump over to Drone DJ. Uh, usually I'd say, I think, does this still even work? Do I have my sound bite ready for the news? I'm just going to peruse because I've been out of it for so long. See what see what we've got. Oh. <laughs> Welcome. Look, Charlie's staring at me. He knows I'm talking about him. Uh, this is not really the FPV news. I just wanted to press that. However, I did want to check out Drone DJ, and I thought we could have a peruse together and uh, find out what could be happening. All right. Exclusive interview with a with a hoverboard inventor. So we're checking out Drone DJ. Uh, I'm going to link them in the chat as well. They do some great stuff. Um, and look, call me lazy. Call me whatever you want to call me, but... Uh, because I've been out of it for so long, I thought this would be a cool place to check out some stuff. Uh, skillful backwards piloting, no. Uh, no. Okay, how to capture slow motion shots, is that news? What is some news that's been going on in the uh, in the FPV world? Uh, we've got some people doing some hunting in Australia. Drones counting some seabirds. Is this what? Well, I guess that's our marine, uh, marine thing. All right. Mavic two. Drone detection pilot. All right. So somewhere at an airport. Action. Man, this is this is not really a. Uh, the most exciting news segment i think we might call it there if you guys have some interesting news please tell me what's been happening so i thought i'd check out drone dj but look korean air supply new hybrid drones people cruising around all right we've got a battery issue yeah i don't know not the uh not the most exciting let's have a look 
If you've got uh, Chris Croft to say, when are you coming up to Brisbane? It will probably be, I'm going to be up there in about four or five weeks. Uh, and then hopefully the complete shift will be within the next three months. So we have a big move. Um, hang, H A. I always, why can't I ever pronounce your name right, mate? Every single time. <laughs> anyway, he's about an hour 30 west of Brisbane. Fitz Flights are saying open HD source is coming as well. Open source HD, that could be very, very exciting. Do you have any more information on that there, Fitz? I would love a community project where everybody can get together. Imagine something like Beta Flight, but it is for a digital transmission system. That would be amazing. Game of Drones is saying, Charlie's not been fed treats in a while. Uh, one after another, so he's ready. All right, thank you very much there, Game of Drones. And number one fan is saying, hey, Stu, really good to see you, man. Uh, looking healthy, bro. Hope the fam is good. Thank you very much. I don't know about looking healthy, but uh, trying anyway, trying to be here and uh, making the most of each and every day. And I want to say thank you uh, for tuning in to the FBV Mix, the hour of lipo power. And Dodgy said, to be honest, this has been a quiet year. I think a lot of people have been in hibernation as well. And um, Quad Dork is saying how to make drones boring and make them film golf. Yeah, I'm not, not really into golf uh, myself. And Kiz is saying, I've posted the, the Game of Whoop promo in the live stream general. It's backed by some pretty big companies. All right, let's check that out. Um, live stream general chat. Uh, registration, is, is this it? <clears throat> the promo video. Uh, there's some music at the start. I don't know if it's copyright or not. Look at that nice. Red We're getting a Red Bull something. CSGO tournament. Mm, no thanks. All right, let's have a look here. Freestyle pilots, they're right here. Let's now, have a look. Right here in Igao. Now with Igao 3 coming out. Wow. What are we looking at? It's going to break all the records again. It's going to be crazy. Competition for freestylers That's a lot of LEDs. And now, here we are, finally getting ready for Igao 3, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> IGAL 1 had somewhere around 100 pilots. IGAL 2 had close to 300 pilots. <clears throat> IGAL 3 is going to blow those out of the water. 32 sponsors. Okay. <clears throat> very, very cool stuff. And just like the other two seasons. Hi, I'm Daylight FPV, the original IGAL first runner up. The IGAL. All right. So we'll link this in the chat as well if you're interested in some whoop competition. <clears throat> All right, jumping over here. Demons is saying, don't listen to Quad Dog. Mini golf is king. Holy moly, yeah. I actually think mini golf is pretty cool. I might have to take the kids there um, when they're a little bit bigger. And Chris Croft is saying, FPV Rebels have uh, events, 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 event month in Brisbane area. All right, so like once a month there's something. Um... Kiz Butler saying that J Joshy B explains it all and Dodgy saying my eyes hurt from all those LEDs and Ryan Canadian Gaming is saying for 300 Canadian what would be an FPV starter either there either than the Emacs Freestyle 2 300 bucks well I don't know how much stuff is nowadays like if it's all gone up that much how much is like a novice kit a, not, I'm not saying to get one of those. Six hundred dollars. Oh, that one's three hundred. You know what? I actually would get this over the Emacs Freestyle too, for the, this price. How much is this? Change this to USD. I think this is a much better price. Check this out. Let me know in the comments as well. This is a pair of EV800Ds. Not my favorite pair of goggles. I do think they're better than the Emacs ones though. This radio is definitely going to... I believe that's an iRange X radio rebranded as Sheen. Not my favorite radio again, but you got to look at the price. And uh, I actually kind of like the little toothpick drone that comes with it. So I don't know. Would you guys get this for the price of 250 bucks? That's not... Honestly, I don't think that's too bad. All right. Um... 
SLRP is asking me, are there any long range videos coming soon? There's not actually, because I haven't been out doing some long range flying. I have been indoors just a little bit and struggling to get some work done really. So this is uh, me getting back into it. And I want to say thank you for everybody who is here. But yeah, no, long range is something I'll have to get, catch up with long range Tony as well. Alrighty. Uh, Donnie's saying, let's get those likes to 100. What are we on? We're on 85. We've been streaming for 90 minutes. We've got, uh, sorry, we've got 90 people watching 46 minutes of streaming with 85. A little thumbs up. And Ryan is saying, can you get it without the radio, the novice? Uh, probably not. If you're going to do that, you'd be better off just buying that. I think you can buy the drone individually. And the cheapest thing in the hobby right now. Well, what do you guys think the cheapest thing in the hobby is right now? Um... And Ryan saying thank you as well. Man, it is kind of tough. If you are just getting into the hobby, if you are watching this, how many new pilots do we have in here? This is what I want you to do right now. In the chat, type how long you have been flying. So let's see how long you've been flying and what is the best piece of gear that you have. So for me, I would say five years and DJ goggles. I want to know what you guys have been flying with. Uh, and how long you've been thinking about it because that's going to give me a better indication of what sort of things I can talk about Where is the majority of our audience? How can we give you the most information to help you get the most out of this as well? Uh, Fitz flights is saying six years and his best thing is the tango 2 um, Sean you have scared me <laughs> At Sean winner Williams uh, He's saying hey bro treat Charlie uh, news, Drone Shield LTD released a drone gun. Um, next, bored old men that use metal detector will take up fighting drone pilots. Okay, let's give Charlie a little snack here as well. Thank you very much, Sean Winner Williams, for that donation. Oh, thank you very much. Sean, hey, and you know what? We're going to have to catch up again as well. We're going to have to jump on the... I know I've been a bit absent from the Discord. I'm going to start going back on there because it was great on like Friday nights or Saturday nights. Heaps of people were getting together, having some, having some fun. Sean, I would like to know, have you quit Siggies? Because I know you were trying. Please let me know in the comments as well. Um, and we've got a lot of people right now. It looks like the, first, the youngest one I can see is the the newest pilot, says Cole. He's been flying for one month, and he's got some HDO goggles. Uh, Fitz Flights, he might be the oldest. He's seen six years in the Tango, too. Let's see, two years for some people as well. Fat Shark Recons for Seth. Um, full crossfire 88 he's got the nirvana 2.5 years ago that's probably just when i started to review the nirvana which i think is one of the saddest stories that happened to a piece of cool tech it had a great shape a great feel and then the dude just sort of disappeared and they stopped development on it it was such a promising radio that just up and left so i don't know what the backstory is with that um RS7 driver, he's 1.5 years in, flying around with DJI, and I've seen his uh, professional setup that he takes out to the field as well. Very cool. Chris Croft, uh, he's got five years and some DJI. Kiz, uh, he's got his Sky Zone O2Xs with some mobulars, and he's getting ready to fly the Diatone Dead Cat. Kiz, have you flown some of those other quads outdoors, any of the larger ones or anything like that as well? I'd love to know how they're going. We've got a super chat coming through. Thank you very much, Dogfish. Just uh, give me a little one-up, some extra life right there. Thank you very much, uh, buddy. It is truly appreciated, you absolute legend. Um... And Ryan Howe saying, I'm kind of new, uh, been getting into the air for about a year now, don't have a real drone just yet, he's still on the sim, his best gear uh, is probably his Free Sky Tyrannus X9 Lite, Stu uh, will hate it. No, look, I don't hate that, see, this is something I want to make clear as well, if you're enjoying it, if you're using it and it is servicing your needs, don't let every, that sounds inappropriate, there you go, kids, don't let anybody else tell you how to enjoy the gear that you have, there's nothing wrong with that radio if it's doing everything that you want it to do. If you're not getting dropouts, if you've only got a couple of quads and it's binding up to them, you don't have a bunch of other receivers and D8 modes that you need to link it to, all that sort of stuff, that is great. The things that I critique products on is if they're, <clears throat> like if you're a newcomer, 
a lot of these things will be fine. You're able to buy into those ecosystems. I just don't like Free Sky for what they do and how they treat their previous customers. But for the needs that you have, it is going to be doing a great job on that. So look, just enjoy it. Please don't feel bad about uh, owning any piece of gear. You deserve to have fun. You spent your hard-earned money on it. Man, just go out, rip some quads, have a good time. Make some more. He's still rocking some Commander on Way V1 goggles. Do they even still sell them anymore? I bet you we can't even buy a pair from a store. One of my favorite pair of goggles. I don't think... What are we getting an ad for here? We're getting a... Try our first perfume for your toilets. <laughs> Check out the YouTube ad that I'm getting. All right, jumping over here. Check this out. I'll probably get some copyright strikes or something like that. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Mmm, breath. Stick one, have some fresh breath. All right, um, what was I actually Googling here? I totally forget. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's right, we're looking for Omway goggles. Omway goggles. Oh, oh, man, these prices are ridiculous. They can't actually be selling these. Pressing screen share. Um... Quinn is saying, so for $300, what quad do you think I should get? Something like a Nazgul, if they still sell those. The Nazgul is a great quad. Um, and you can't go wrong with it. You can get one uh, for that much. Uh, we got Max Air 420. Hey, UAV. Hey, everyone. Thank you for joining in with us. And Dodgy saying, hey, what kind of product is that? Well, anyway, we're talking about Omway. Omway V1s. I bet you they don't even have, have them at Bangers anymore. Phaser FPV? Let's have a look. Ugh, that's not what we wanted. This product has been discontinued. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these. this is not, not available for purchase. Uh, it looks like they used to be 312 bucks. You know what? If you were really lucky, Buzz FPV. Oh, they were where I got some of my very, very... Fit. Look at this, 500 bucks. If you were really lucky, at one point in time, these were $150. 147 USD or 157 USD. Oh. Anyway, I digress. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, make some more. Saying, I got my Omway Commander V1s way back for 50 AUD. That has to be secondhand. And I bet you if you went and shopped around secondhand, that's a great place uh, to pick up some gear as well. Let's have a look. Gum tree is an Aussie one and FPV goggles. FPV goggles on gum tree. Here we go. Let's see what are people selling. Um, here we go. Screen share. You can get a pair of Esheen goggles for 50 bucks. Someone's got a full kit here. And Nazgul, a Tyrannus, QX7, Skyzone FPV goggles. Thousand bucks with some batteries. Um, let's have a look here. Esheen Wizard, racing drone, built and tuned by some jerks. Nope, don't pay 550 bucks for that. That's a scam. Uh, <coughs> drone kits. Is this... This, this is where it's at, right? You can, I'm going to be able to find... I'm going to get so many drone ads now. A lot of micros. Oh, 2000 bucks. No. Ooh, $700 for a, uh, a Bang God from Catalyst Machine Works. That's expensive. We must be able to find some cheaper, cheaper FPV goggles. Hmm. Man, there really is a shortage, isn't there? Interesting. We're going to have to find some value videos to help you guys get flying, I think. All right, let's jump over to uh, this one. Uh, people saying, hope you clipped that, kids. I don't know what you're talking about, but <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. We've got 92 people watching. We've been streaming for 55 minutes. We've got, we did it the hour of Lipo Power 102. Thumbs up, uh, Quad Dorka sent. FPV Exchange is a good site for second hands. Yes, absolutely. And uh, Max Air 420, the Skyzone O3Os are so good. He had the HDOs. I'm glad that we're getting some more people switching from the Fat Shark, I guess, uh, 
not monopoly, but there used to be so much stigma that if it was Fat Shark, nothing else could compete. And maybe it was a little bit like the Apple phones. Everyone thought, oh, the iPhone is the best, blah, 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 blah. And now people realize, you know what? There's a lot of other good companies out there that make some great phones. It's the same thing with FPV goggles. Uh, when you come, I think Skyzone really is the number one analog FPV goggle manufacturer at the moment. Followed by Fat Shark. You've also got Orca, but they're ridiculously expensive, I believe. Uh, that's one product that I've truly never tested, though, so I can't, can't, I can't tell you. All right. Um, and Fitzflat says, I've been waiting almost two months for my Get FPV order to come through. And Dodge is saying, and like GoPro. Yeah, that's true. You know, now we've got a lot of, you don't just have to have a GoPro uh, for doing your filming. Whereas back in the day, I really did like the session. The session was pretty, pretty nice for us drone pilots. Anyway, I digress. Thank you for tuning in for the hour of power. We've probably got a couple minutes more. Um... And I just want to say thank you for being here. The most important thing that I want to stress today in this show, though, if you are watching this right now, before you click away and think, oh, it's just about to, it's about to close it down, whatever you've got coming up for the rest of the day, for the rest of the night, for the rest of the week, I have one message for you. And I'm talking to you because you can hear my voice. And now I know you might be raising an eyebrow thinking, no, no, you can't be talking to me. Yes, I am. You guys... Even if you're feeling down or something's not going right, I want you to know that you are valued, you are cared about. 2020 has been rough and 2021 has been rough for a lot of people. And uh, we all need to be kind to each other. But most importantly, please, please, please be kind to yourself. You are a kind individual. You are cared about. And you might say, man, uh, my day's rough. No one cares about me. And my boss treats me like garbage. I'm feeling a bit sad. Whatever it may be, I want you to know that I do care about you. I truly appreciate you for being here, and I just want to say thank you, and I hope you have a great day, and I can't wait to see you again next week, so thank you for tuning in. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure, but most importantly, please be kind to yourself. You guys are always kind to me. I want you to share that love back at yourself, because you deserve it. You're kind people, so there you go. Anyway, I've been uh, <laughs> rambling a little bit. There's a little bit of extra love. Uh, thrown in the mix. Uh, Quinn is saying, what website should I use to find a drone? You could use eBay. Um, someone has used it. Wait, a new drone or a second-hand drone. Um, FPV Exchange is a great website as well. If you're after second-hand drones or, uh, you know, I've been recommending, basically, there is some good ones if you're in the States. We've got... Uh, RDQ, Race Day Quads. Great place to get it. You've got Get FPV. Uh, you can get some things off Amazon, although I don't have much experience with them. If you're international, Bangers or Banggood um, is a great place to be. Uh, Motor Rep is saying, joined a little late, Stu. Happy Father's Day, but It's not actually Father's Day here. Uh, that must be a States, States thing, as it's on a different day. But thank you very much. I'll take it anyway. And we got Ben as well. He's saying he's still got his Dominators, uh, but would love those Sky Zones. More comfortable and better screens. Ben, I missed you the other night, buddy. I jumped on, but I don't think uh, you must have been busy with work or something like that. Well, I can't wait to catch up soon. And number one fan is saying, thanks for the show, Stu. I uh, hope you take it, your own advice and take care of yourself, bro. Yeah, sometimes it can be easy to give other people advice, but you don't really listen to it yourself. But yeah, I'll, I will try to be kind to myself as well. Thank you for making my working week. I truly appreciate it. I hope you guys have an absolute baller of a day because you deserve it be kind to each other we're about to play that song that i know you guys all missed because i missed it as well be like yeah i forgot this song let me know in the comments as well if you're like yeah this this song this is it that's right the end of the stream song i truly do like it anyway on that subscribe for more fpv uh, related love action content and as always Happy flying. And thank you so much for all those people who sent through some donations as well. It truly does help the channel, helps the business, and helps me spread this love of FPV to as many people as we can. Thank you so much. Anyway, I'm out, and we are definitely going to be doing this next week, week in, week out. You guys have motivated me here, and I, I want to say thank you as well. So anyway, I will catch you in a, a little bit, and uh, I'm going to try and be on Discord a little bit more as well. So if you're ever around Discord, please jump in, say hello, hang out, and just uh, share. I, I'd love to hear your stories as well. Anyway, all right. Catches. Let's see if we've got the stream finish song. Here it is for you guys. Uh, this one's going out to all you romantic FPV pilots. Uh, here we go. <laughs>
All right, all right, all right. Oh, my face is frozen. What's going on? <laughs> What's happened to my face? It's literally, is dog cam frozen? Is the stream frozen? Nah, Charlie's still moving around. Let's let's switch this up. Yep, I'm frozen, boys. I don't know what's happened here. Um, hang on, because we just stitched Dre and said, Yo, please check out my first FEV video on YouTube and give Charlie a treat. All right, let, let's have a look at this. I wonder if we can still get this to... Uh, look, that's... What a unfortunate picture. All right, let's have a look. Um, share your vids. Where'd you put it, Stitch? Did you put it in share your vids? Um, you know what, if you could email it to me, we can definitely play it on the next stream, my friend. I don't know what's going on with my stream here. It seems like it's frozen on my, uh, on my face right there. <laughs> oh gosh, what about if I jump over here to screen share? Can you see my, no, it's still frozen on my face. It's not going to move. Who knows? Anyway, all right, the stream's crashed. Flashbacks. Here we go. All right, catch you guys. Guys, come on. <laughs> I just added this new audio source, so hopefully you can hear this bit coming through. Let's give Charlie his treat, because he does deserve those as well. Thank you very much, guys. So here's the one from Stitch Drone. There you go, Charlie. And Sean Winner Williams is saying, Wicked stuff, a stream next week uh, too. Thanks, bro, for the awesome air of fun, entertainment, and kind words to all the community. Yeah, you guys are very, very kind. We've even got some people saying, uh, you're always welcome, Stu. And thank you very much, Sean. Uh, we need you because without you, it wouldn't be the same for many of us. Take care, Stu and Charlie. Yeah, we're here for you, uh, guys. If you ever want to chat or, you know, just hopefully you can get something out of this as well because it means a lot to me. And I hope that you're enjoying it as well. It is absolutely my my pleasure. Quinn is saying he deserves another one. <laughs> and that's what Charlie would say. He's sitting in front of the heater. He's all toasty warm. Oh, yeah, that was quite delicious. Anyway. Catch it. Oh, who likes this song? I do. Well, saying, Stu, you're an inspiration to us so many. Don't change. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Motor Ref. Giving Charlie a snack as well. All right, boys. I think that's it. I'm out for the day. It has truly been a pleasure. Remember, most importantly, be kind to yourself. getting old now. Ah, oh, Stitch Drones' video is now in YouTube. Okay, all right, we will show this. Um, <clears throat> he sent through a donation as well. Hang on, let me just double check this. My face is still frozen on here. So, and this, look at that, I can't. Oh, i got to turn the music off though. Sorry, buddy. You're just going to have to make do with my face like that. This is his first ever drone on YouTube. Let's give him a thumbs up. He's just punching out with his little Mob 6. Whoa, 
Careful, buddy. If it's too windy, oh. He's doing some flips as well. That's pretty crazy for a 1S. Oh, uh, uh. Oh, I thought this was like one of your first flights. Obviously not. You've got uh, definitely some more power here. Uh, more skills as well than a first flight. If this was your first flight, you'd be an FPV god. I bet you crashed after that bit. we got some low batteries down the slide. Through the playgrounds. Oh. Oh. Yeah, awesome. I was. Uh, I gave it a little thumbs up as well. <clears throat> Have you got a little crew there that you're flying with? Or is it just... The, oh, nice, nice. You've got a bunch of people. That's what it's all about. Oh. I wonder if there's a crash at the end. That's what I used to put at the end of my videos. Let's have a... Let's have a squeeze. Oh, oh. No worries. All right. Thanks, man. Hopefully, guys... Uh, oh, look, London. Hey, we're in London, bud. Have a chat in the uh, FPV mix. Jay FPV saying, this dude goes. <laughs> He's late. Yeah, yeah, we missed you, Jay. What's going on, buddy? This is the end. I've clicked on this stream finish thing so many times. My face is frozen on this part. I can't really change it. Check it out. So anyway, that's it. I'm out. Subscribe for my FPV-related content. And as always... <laughs>